No ring, no problem. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make these cute little wreath ornaments without a ring. Nicole here and welcome to Bochi Not Macrame, the channel where you'll find all things macrame DIY. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a super unique Christmas ornament, the No Ring Wreath. This project is great for beginners because it only requires really one knot and some basic macrame skills. The one knot that's primarily used in this pattern is the double half inch knot, which is one of the basic knots of macrame. If you guys are interested in learning more knots to advance your macrame skill set, we do offer a free 50 knots and sentence ebook on bochinot.com. This is definitely something you want to download and have with you as you learn macrame so that you can refer back to it as you come up with your own unique knot pattern and macrame designs. And with that, grab some cord and let's get started. For this pattern, you will either need three millimeter macrame cord or four millimeter macrame cord, some string, and then also some ribbon. The materials I will be using today are a 1.5 millimeter two ply string, as well as a three millimeter single strand cord. Both of these are in natural and from our rainbow cord line. This is a nice and sturdy cord which holds up really well while untying knots and it also gives a nice soft and beautiful aesthetic to the knots once finished. To begin, we're going to take our long strand of cord at 150 centimeters long and we're going to place it down horizontally. Then taking a second strand of cord, we're going to make a double half inch knot onto the left horizontal cord end. We're going to leave about four inches of space at the top end of the vertical cord, and then we're going to make a double half inch knot. Shift the knot down to the left until there's about three and a half inches of space remaining on the left horizontal cord end. Taking the third strand of cord, make another double half inch knot on the right side. This time we're going to leave 5 inches on the top end. Now we're going to fold the right horizontal cord end over to the left and we're going to make two double half inch knots at the bottom here to the left. Now repeat this pattern again by taking the anchor cord over to the right for a row of double half inch knots to the right and then a row of double half inch knots back to the left.
all you have to do is continue the same pattern back and forth until you have a total of 13 u-shaped patterns so we've made two here now make a total of 13. once the pattern's done we're going to stretch this pattern out so that the ends meet and to do this, you can pull on the knots in between the U-shaped patterns, so that outer knot, to give it more space on the outside so that it will naturally curve together. Now we can take the middle two cords, once both the start and the ends are mashed up together, we'll take the bottom two cords there and make a double half inch knot. Then pushing the cords through to the back, we're going to turn the pattern upside down and with the next two cords up, so the next cord up on both sides, we're going to tie a double overhand knot at the back. Then with the top two cords up at the top, we're going to tie another double overhand knot. And then with the two cord ends at the top, make one large overhand knot to form a handle. Then at the back, cut off some of the excess cords, leave about a few inches left, and then now using our crochet hook, we're going to weave the cord ends through the loops at the back. Once the cord ends are threaded through some loops, we can now cut off the excess cord ends. And then finish tucking in the other two remaining cord ends. Once done, we're now going to take our ribbon. We're going to take a piece at about 10 inches long and then we're going to tie a bow.
Now taking a short strand of string at about 15 centimeters long, we're going to weave it through the back of the bow. Once weaved through, we're now going to weave these two string ends through to the top of the wreath pattern. Once both ends are weaved through to the back, we're going to tie a double overhand knot at the back. Now you can cut off the excess string ends. And we are now complete with this mini wreath pattern. And that concludes our mini macrame wreath tutorial. I really hope you guys had fun with this one. And I hope you guys had fun learning how to make a circular knot pattern without using a ring. This is made with a repetitive double halfish knot pattern that hopefully you can use to apply to your other macrame projects. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys enjoyed about this pattern. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.